how I made over $2,000 in one day sourcing this product. Let's get into it. What's going on, guys? It's Danny back. I'm in Ireland right now for one of my family members' wedding. And real quick today, we're going to be talking about how I made over $2,000 in one day from this one product that I sourced from Costco. Now, there's a high chance that you guys maybe have sourced this product as well. It was about, I believe, a year and a half ago, and it was the Wall Hair Clipper. Now, spelled, I think, W-A-H-L, the Wall Hair Clippers. Now, this was during, again, peak COVID season. I'll have a ton of these like little short form videos coming out where I'm talking about different flips I did during this time because it truly was a crazy time. And honestly, these opportunities still are available, but let me break it down for you guys, this flip and how it went and how I did it. So initially I got alerted to this product from my friend, as you guys may know, flips for miles. I got alerted to it from him about these wall hair clippers. And immediately I went out sourcing as the cost from Costco was, I believe it was $35 and then they at the time they were selling for between 75 and 100 by the time I was able to source them I was able to source around a hundred I think it was around actually 120 but I remember I hit one store and I took all 100 it was like all they had on a pallet then I went to another Costco and they had about 20 left and then the rest in my whole area were sold out so I had about 120 wall hair clippers for about $35 by the time I got all of those they were selling for around 75 80 bucks and then after all the fees and everything I was making and shipping, I was making around $20 per unit. So, you know, that math real quick. Once I sold all of them, I made about $2,400. Now, it is variable because there's different shipping and stuff, but it was roughly around uh, $2,400. Quick profit. Uh, this All of them sold in about 24 to 36 hours, and then I shipped them all out uh, the next day. Another great tip for while you're actually sourcing. So... I didn't wait to list the products until I got home from that sourcing day because it was so volatile and so many people were coming onto the listing very, very quickly. Obviously, I listed them all merchant fulfilled so I can just fulfill them myself. And if you guys don't know the difference between FBA fulfillment uh, by Amazon and MF merchant fulfilled, merchant fulfilled is when you actually ship the products yourself. FBA is when Amazon fulfills the product for you. So you send it to Amazon and then they send it out. So I listed all them MF merchant fulfilled as I was shopping for them. So for example, so once I secured those 100 from uh, Costco, the first Costco, I listed all 100 on Amazon. So I think like half of them sold by the time I got to the next Costco and found uh, found the uh, other 20. So I was doing that because I knew the market was coming down because it went from 100 to 75 in like a day or two. So I knew that uh, that eventually it would drop to where it was unprofitable because I did get in kind of late, but uh, there was still again a lot of profit to be had. And then the other people who were on it much earlier, you know, tens of thousands of dollars if they had the supply or or the or the know know of all where the where the wall hair clippers were. But uh, like I said, I was able to get in kind of on the downtrend, but still you're able to make money on the downtrend in this industry. There's a ton of room for anyone, and especially with peak COVID season, you can't go out and get a haircut. You know, you want to do in your house wall hair clipper. It was like a whole like in one kit. Uh, it, it was amazing. I still have a few, I think, actually, my house that got returned. But uh, but yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this little story about the wall hair clippers, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.